I see. So we're hearing all kinds of rumors. Should we have armed guards in the preschools? Should campus security be, be carrying weapons? Uh, colleges and other kinds of schools are asking us as their student assistance program advisors, what should they be doing? We've heard requests for greater mental health screening. So what's your take on a plan? Uh, do we have a plan? Do we arm these guards? Do we uh, fence our campuses? What do you suggest in terms of prevention? Well, I think prevention really starts pretty early. It starts with uh, counseling in schools. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you know, the schools actually know the problem students. They know students who are being bullied. They the know schools students. know the problem students. Well, I, yeah, I think that it's pretty apparent to teachers who the problem students are. And I think that they probably have conversations with parents. And it, it's really to get that help early, uh, to have the counseling available, to to really be able to diagnose issues. We've got a lot of kids who probably have some undiagnosed issues and they only exacerbate over time. And by the time you get into a college environment uh, where the stress is extremely high because the stress to succeed is unbelievable yes. uh, from a lot of different quarters, uh, that's where it's acted out on. So, I, you know, I think that um, teachers need to be looking at every single level, but they shouldn't be the only ones doing that. Police often know who uh, the kids are who are having problems and it needs to be a combined effort to really identify kids at an early age and start working with them all the way through the process. As to college campuses and high school campuses, you find high school campuses are fenced and you find uh, school security there, colleges have police departments, but you can't fence a college. Uh, and I think it's really incumbent. People will always talk about after the fact that they could tell that this person was different, that they could tell that Mm -hmm. uh, there was something bad going to happen, but they never bring it up. And I think we have to get over that stigma and start helping people out before they create these uh, situations where you simply can't help them out. A, a school official sitting here might say, we don't have the budget, we don't have the mental health facilities, uh, we don't have this, we don't have that. Well, it, you know, and, and we, uh, one of the things I think we do that's very unfair is we accept, we expect our schools uh, to educate our children, uh, to become their parents, to uh, feed the children, to take a role as uh, something other than what they're supposed to be doing, which is educating our children. So mm -hmm. I would understand their reluctance, but they also spend the most time with those kids probably. Uh, and they're the ones who can identify that. And I think there's a certain responsibility that comes with that to work not only with the parents, but also a system. Uh, to make sure that we're identifying kids who need some help because by helping them out early we're saving uh, maybe their careers and maybe their families later on. Um, as, as a former professor, I don't exactly picture myself teaming with a police officer, but when you say it that way, it makes total sense. Well, the police officers and, uh, you know, every city in America has a different model, but you'll always find school resource officers at some time. Mm -hmm. uh, whether it's the beat officer who has a, a school on their uh, beat or whether it's a specifically assigned unit and they're very easy to talk to. They're very non-threatening in a school environment uh, and they want to make sure that they know which of the children are going to be needing some type of help and early intervention is the key on all these issues. Mm -hmm. and, and that is your message, earlier intervention, taking action when these isolated these disenfranchised students, these students who are displaying overtly some problem behavior. Well, it's not only that problem behavior, but when those students are victimized by bullies at schools, uh, and we find that teachers know who the bullies are, uh, mm -hmm. they know who's being bullied, that has to be stopped immediately because that starts building a pattern that's replicated year after year after year, and it, it, it just creates the problems that we're seeing right now where uh, those students feel like they have to get back at somebody.